When I look back at my time at deaf school, I think about the various performance competitions like the Deaf Children's Festival or ASL Week, where I'd get so excited video recording myself, signing various stories. I loved it. One of my performances won first place, and the ribbons and awards for my performances gave me the confidence I now enjoy. Thanks to my deaf school. My family's hearing, and they all sign, but it's at my deaf school that I feel like I'm at home. Looking back, I was really young. I must have been in middle school. I wanted to make a movie. One of my friends happened to have a camcorder. So we asked the RA of our dorm if we could make a movie. The RA said, sure, go ahead, take a couple of days and work it out. So we did. I got some friends together. We created a story. We filmed. We edited. Put it all together. Then one evening, we got the entire school together to premiere our video. It's really inspiring. That wouldn't have been possible if everyone at our school didn't sign. That's the beauty of a deaf school. Going to a mainstream school was fine, but it wasn't until I transferred to a deaf school that I noticed an increase in my confidence, creativity, and social skills. My mainstream school, I was timid in my use of ASL, but at my deaf school, my command of ASL was off the charts and I would create ABC stories and ASL poetry. It was really cool. I grew up going to a deaf school, and I remember one English class, the literature assignment was to read Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven which went over my head. Uh, it wasn't until my deaf teacher told the story in ASL that it finally clicked, which has been the case for me with reading from then on. I grew up playing team sports, mostly on teams full of hearing players. Though I enjoyed it, my hearing teammates made me feel like I was less than, as if I couldn't play as well. It wasn't until I transferred to my deaf school that I saw playing sports in a different light. We ran plays, we learned skills. As a team, we established a system. On my hearing team, we didn't communicate, which meant there was no system. Because I could communicate with my deaf teammates, we had a system. I was extremely shy growing up, but the drama program at my deaf school helped tremendously. I got involved in a number of performances and worked really hard. Over time, I noticed my shyness began to fade and my confidence increased. I started going to my mainstream school using interpreters, and when interpreters weren't around, my other classmates asked me to interpret. When I transferred to my deaf school, I finally didn't need interpreters, and I didn't need to interpret for my classmates. I felt like a student. No one was relying on me. I felt free. When I think of my time at deaf school, I remember Kim Malago, one of my deaf teachers. She was the one that taught me about deaf culture and ASL. It blew my mind how she incorporated facial expressions in her use of ASL which has inspired my own use of facial expressions. ASL is so important. It's something to be cherished. You've now just seen their stories. I went to a deaf school too. Will I be the last?